hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well today you guys i am super excited to be sharing some functional decor diys for you all and you guys these turned out absolutely gorgeous and i love them and i cannot wait to share them with you and this video is teamed up with a special friend so i cannot wait to share the details with you later on in the video it's gonna be super fun there's a playlist and everything for everyone who joined may have joined in for this um collab and yeah you'll get a ton of inspiration of functional decor and who doesn't like some functional decor and yeah so i hope you will check it out and we'll talk more about that later on but for now let's jump right into the video all right friends for this first diy i have here this frame that you can find at dollar tree and i am just going to start by cleaning it off because it was sitting in a box for quite some time and the glass part is glued on because it was a part of a previous diy that i did a while ago and then i also have two of these wood planks i got this from a pack at hobby lobby and now i'm just taking my ruler because i just want to measure out exactly where i want to place these wood planks and how far apart i want to place them from each other because i do want to glue them onto the frame just as you see me doing here um so i'm just measuring out everything where i would like them to go and stuff like that and then once i have everything figured out i am gonna take some e6000 and some hot glue and just place that onto the frame and do keep in mind you do have only a little bit of space to work with so just try your best not to get a lot of glue seeping out and if you do just wipe it off with a napkin and you would be fine um the e6000 and hot glue is it's a good thing that it's clear because you can't really see it anyway if it does if it does have some excess but just try to get it wiped off as much as you can and then once I have both of them on there, I am loving how it's looking. It is just really simple and I love how it looks overall with the shelves in the front. And you can just place something down on both of the shelves. And this piece could honestly go like in your office or anywhere in your home really. So now as you can see here, I have two scrapbook papers that you can find at Hobby Lobby and I just have these two because I was deciding which one I wanted to, do, to use but I ended up going with the green one of course <laughs> and I just cut it down to the size of the frame and I placed that to the frame and that just gives it a nice background for this piece and just like that this DIY is complete you guys and I absolutely love how it turned out I think it is super beautiful and gorgeous and I just love that scrapbook paper in the background because it just makes whatever you put on the shelf just pop out and stand out even more so i really love that and the good thing is you can always change it out the background and that is a great thing as well please let me know what you guys think of this diy And you guys, as I did mention, this video is a part of a open playlist collab. And the lovely host is my sweet friend over at Lovely Moments Creating. Her name is Jenny and she is super sweet and amazing, you guys. And if you don't know her, I will have her link to her channel in my description box below. So that way you can go over and check her out after you are done watching my video. You guys tell her I said hi and that I sent you over. And also I'm going to have a link to the playlist in my description box as well. So that way you can check out all of the lovely creators that joined in for this collab and let's jump right into the next diy all right friends so for this next diy i have here this little tray and these two little drawers that you can find at dollar tree and i want to put everything together to create one piece so that way you can place something at the top and then you also have the drawers so if you want to place some stuff in the drawers 
So I am gonna uh, hot glue and wood glue everything together. I'm gonna put the two drawers together first and then I'm gonna place the little tray right on top just as you see me doing here. And I really love that because it's like all one piece but you can have so many things in the drawers and on top as well. So I think that's a really nice piece. So all you have to do is take your wood glue and hot glue and place everything together. And then once everything is nice and put together, I am gonna go in with some black paint and I'm gonna paint the entire piece, the tray, the drawers, uh, the bottom drawers and everything, but I'm not gonna paint the drawers itself, the inserts, because I want, the, I want to keep them the natural wood color because I think it'll look really nice and high end that way and it would really look, give it a nice contrast or you can just paint it a different color to whatever color, you can honestly paint whatever colors you would like. I just chose black for the entire thing and to leave the drawers it's natural wood color. So I am gonna paint every single piece and I don't paint inside of the tray because I want it to tie in with the drawers. So I just paint the entire thing and then I let that dry really well. And then we can add our drawers back in. And now I wanna create some handles for the drawers, of course. And I am gonna place the drawers with the flower cutout facing inwards because I don't want the flower cutout. So I'm gonna pla place that facing inwards and then I'm gonna take these little wood cubes they can get from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use these as the handles or the knobs and I am just going to use wood glue to place that on with some hot glue. And then I am gonna take this pack of stickers that Dollar Tree has out right now. They have a whole bunch of packs of these in different colors and I think these are really nice and I think you should pick them up because they are really nice for when you want to do high-end DIYs or not really high-end really, but it just gives everything a nice little touch if you want a decorative touch and you can just stick it on there and it looks really nice so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take two of them that i like and i am gonna glue them right onto the front of the square knobs and now the stickers are a little bit bigger than the square itself the wood square but that's okay i didn't mind it i just stuck it on anyway or if you want you could have trimmed it but I just put it as it is. And here is the final look at this DIY, friends. I really love how it turned out. You guys have to let me know what you think of this one. And if you would give this a try, I just placed down a little plant at the top there. And I think that's really perfect for it. And I think this would be an absolutely beautiful piece for the bathroom. You can place down sanitary pads or, you know, personal items in the drawers and place it in the bathroom. And I think it turned out super cute. Let me know what you guys think. You guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, I would highly appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up because that lets YouTube know to share it to other people and to grow my audience. And I would love for you to consider to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. If you do like what you see here on this channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, friends, for this final DIY, it is going to breeze by. I have here these two jars that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I am just going to give them a nice good cleaning around the outside with some disinfectant wipes. And I am going to give it a good wash because I am going to be placing food in here. And you guys, I did grab these two, um, the ones that I have here. But when I ended up going to Dollar Tree a little later on, I found the same exact ones but taller. So that is awesome because I was thinking to myself that I would like them a bit taller. So if you do find the taller ones, you can grab those as well. Or if you like these, whatever you want. But I do have two of them and I am going to go on my Cricut and I am just going to cut out two labels that say pasta and I am going to have two of the same ones because I do want to use both of the jars 
for different types of pasta but obviously you can use them for um different things and just place whatever you want down in there and just cut out a little label on your cricut or even if you don't have a cricut you could use some dollar tree sticker letters and that would look just as fine so now i'm just placing my labels to the jars and i am just making sure it's as straight as possible i like to just put it up to the front of my face because i can really see if it looks really nice and straight so i'm sorry if you cannot see so after i am done placing them down and i did choose um white vinyl because i thought that when i place pasta down it's just gonna make that label stand out even more and make the white pop against the neutral um, tan colors of the pasta but you can obviously use whatever color of your choice and then once you are done placing your labels this diy is complete and as i said that was a breeze and it is awesome because these jars are really nice and sleek looking so i really love that and i think it's a great way to store you know some stuff for your kitchen or really anywhere like in the bathroom or something like that so this is the final look at it and i really love it let me know what you guys think of this diy thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and do consider hitting that subscribe button i would love to have you be a part of my family and don't forget to check out Lovely Moments Creating Jenny over on her channel. You, you are going to get a ton more of inspiration. And also do check out that playlist. The links and everything will be down below in the description box. And I will see you all on the next one. God bless. Bye.